our institutional tradition is not to make our colleagues look bad, it's to make the institution look good. And part of that uh, is the way we conduct oral arguments. We are concerned that the presence of a TV camera, the knowledge that we're going to be on TV, would affect the way that we behave. And it's an insidious dynamic for me to think that one of my colleagues has asked a question just so that he or she could look good on TV. I don't want that dynamic. We have audio available. Um, and, uh, and, the transcripts, and the transcripts are available. Uh, the press does a very good job of covering us. Uh, the, uh, the press has the advantage. They, they know three, four, six months in advance what the issue are. They, they, can, they can prepare the background. They can have pictures of the litigants and so forth. And then they're all ready to write the story depending on, on what we write. So we, so, we have, so we have good press coverage as well. But I, I think the cameras in the courtroom are, are not a good idea. When I'm sitting as a judge, uh, I'm seeing or I'm hearing uh, the sides of a case for 20 minutes or half an hour, or whatever the case may be. It's a short period of time. Uh, and, and I do not want distraction from that case. Uh, and so that's why a clicking camera can be, can be difficult in a situation like that. <laughs> uh, that seems to have provoked a great deal of, <laughs> great deal of clicking. I think I need say no more. Are you, are you for or against TV coverage uh, of the court? If, if, it's, if it's gavel to gavel, I don't see any problem at all in an appellate court. I know that concern has been expressed at the trial level, but we've come a long way from the days of the Shepard case when the camera was very intrusive and there were all kinds of right. uh, equipment that could be distracting. Uh, the concern is about distortion because of the editing, if the editing is not controlled. I understand. I, that, that's good enough for me. I just, it, it, I would be concerned about the editing uh, uh, that goes on, too. You're saying gavel to gavel, you're for? Yes. Okay. Yes. And I was really glad to hear you say in response to Senator Cole's questions that you favor televising the Supreme Court. Uh, I think we uh, may be getting closer. Uh, I've been at it for more than a decade with a whole series of bills. And uh, recently the Judiciary Committee voted out a bill uh, to televise the Supreme Court 13 to 6. And we did it a couple of years ago, 12 to uh, 6. And um, I know it's going to be something the court's going to have to uh, come to, uh, perhaps on its own. Uh, but uh, uh, the uh, public views are uh, uh, increasing. Uh, a poll which was released by uh, C-SPAN just uh, yesterday shows that 63 percent of the American people favor televising the court. And among the 37 percent who opposed, when they were told that people can only be in the Supreme Court uh, chamber for about three minutes, accommodates only a couple hundred people, uh, 60 percent of those 37 percent thought the court should be televised, which brings the total to about 85 percent.
At that time, I voted in favor in the Judicial Conference of experimenting with television in the courtroom. That has been carried out. The results are being evaluated. In Massachusetts, television is in the courtroom. The Massachusetts judges I've spoken to seem generally satisfied. The results of that are being evaluated in the federal system. I guess, impervious to making myself look ridiculous to get an answer to a question that uh, I can best focus by giving some ridiculous example. And he knows that I do. <laughs> see, and, and all right, then they do. And the reporters are used to it. And they say, oh, God. But, but nonetheless, I'll do it. Now, my friends in the press, some of them tell me, you see if you do that the first time that somebody takes that ridiculous thing out of context and puts it on the evening news, particularly someone who is not one of our regulars and doesn't really understand what's going on. And the worst thing that any of us feels he or she could do is to hurt that institution. <laughs>